Setting up a pigeonhole for your event is as easy as one, two, three. Start by creating a new pigeonhole. You will be prompted to key in your event information. The name of the pigeonhole will be displayed to your audience on the audience web app. We'd suggest giving it a good one. Your event passcode is what your audience will use to log in to your pigeonhole. You can make one related to your event, go wild with something quirky, or just click here to generate one at random. Passcodes are subject to availability on a first come first served basis, so be creative and move fast. For your start and end date, we'd suggest setting this as the time you will be using Pigeonhole Live for your event. So if you're planning to set up a pre-event poll, set the start date earlier than your event start date. Once you're done with the event information, you've already completed step one. Now it's time for step two, setting up your agenda. Go to the Agenda tab and add in your sessions like Q&As, polls or surveys. We'd suggest also making use of our non-interactive sessions to mark out keynote speeches, lunch breaks and networking sessions to really flesh out your agenda. Remember to click Save after creating each session. And that's it. The next step is to actually run your pigeonhole. Under Run Your Event, you'll find links to your audience web app, admin panel, projector panel, and much more. If you need to change anything, just go back to steps one and two and edit. This has been an instructional video from the folks at Pigeonhole Live. Happy discussions and we'll see you soon.